I will now show you how to push code to Windows Azure website using not only Microsoft technology. In this case, I have a local Git repository, which I can push code to GitHub to a, a, a repository there called Some Other Demo. So I'll initiate a push of, of some code changes that I have to Windows Azure. There you go. Some changes have been, have been pushed. Now, if I go back to Windows Azure and look, there's my website, some other demo .net. You might wonder where my code is being pushed to or what is going to be doing the continuous deployment. I have a virtual machine in Windows Azure, which I am now browsing to and revealing that I have Team City running on this virtual machine in Windows Azure. And as you can see, there is now queued a build, which was the one that I just pushed uh, recently. And it's now building and it appears to be failing. Now, it is purposefully failing because I wanted to show you that this Team City setup also runs the tests. And you can see that I have a test here called some test which is failing. So I go to Visual Studio and I find the failing unit test. As you can see, one is not equal to 42. And I will now fix this test. I only have one unit test in my, in my solution. I just wanted to show you that it was also using any unit, if you didn't notice. So I'm not using Microsoft tests here. I'll commit this change using Git again, and I'll push that code off to Git. And back over in uh, my build server team city, there we go, the code is being pushed, the chain, the fixed test is pushed. I can go back and check my projects and see that so the some other demo build now has a pending change again. It's now doing a full build and running my unit tests in NUnit. And once that has completed as a successful build and unit testing, the deploy takes over. And what I do here is I take this local, now that I have this build folder, which is a Git repository, and I do a Git push back into Windows Azure. So I take, I pull from Git, run my unit tests and my build and everything, and then I push the result to Windows Azure. And as you can see now, I have my new version of the site in Windows Azure. So final thing I want to show you is that if I click over to my, to my websites and I go to some other demo, I also get, because I'm doing the Git push to Azure, I get this deployment history. You can see it says fix the test right there. The deployment history that proves that I now am doing a complete build and uh, push and then and then build a unit test and a, a, a deployment to Windows Azure continuously using Team City. Thank you for listening.